What are genetically modified animals? Genetically modified animals are animals whose genetic materials have been artificially altered. This is often done to change certain characteristics in the animal. Thanks for joining Dynamic Earth Learning. Our content covers interesting earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics. Visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and e-learning courses. How Animals Are Genetically Modified Modern biotechnology has made it possible for scientists to change the genetic composition of species. GMO are better than their natural-born cousins in a lot of ways. The DNA of an animal can be changed by deleting, adding, or changing certain parts of it. People use the word DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid to talk about the molecules that make things a lot. DNA tells how a living thing looks and works. Every cell in a living thing has DNA in it. They are stored in parts of DNA called genes. There is a process called genetic modification that lets you change the genes of animals and other organisms in the way that you want to. One of the names for what this is called is genetic engineering. Scientists can use this method to find out which genes are responsible for certain traits in an animal, by how big it is. Genetically Modified Animals History Humans have changed animal DNA as far back as we can remember. Breeding strategies help to change an animal's DNA. Conventional Techniques of Modifying Genetic Materials in Animals I. Crossbreeding Crossbreeding is when you get an animal by mating a male and female of two different animals. When crossbreeding is done correctly, it can make a hybrid that is better than both parents. By Selective Breeding there are some types of selective breeding in which animals are chosen for breeding because they have certain traits. In selective breeding, the parents are usually chosen based on things that can be seen. Modern Genetic Modification The first time GMO technology was used to change a living thing was in 1973. Herbert Boyer and Stanley Cohen were the first people to change the DNA of an organism. The two scientists were able to transfer genetic material from one organism to another. They used bacteria as their sample. Some other scientists, like Rudolf Genisch and Beatrice Mintz, also played a role in getting people to use GMO. They made the first genetically modified animal by putting foreign genes into mice. Modern genetic modification removes and adds DNA sequences to change organisms. Insertion happens when a gene or a group of genes are added to a piece of DNA. Deletion is the act of taking certain genes out of an organism's DNA. GMO technology can be used to make animals and plants that have been genetically modified. Unlike crossbreeding and selective breeding, GMO technology allows scientists to make specific changes to genes. There are times when traditional genetic modification methods don't work out well. What animals have been genetically modified? Scientists have changed the genes in many animals. They do this to see how it works. A few of the animals that they've changed are shown in this list. One. Chickens. Scientists have made chickens that can lay eggs that are good for you. It can help some types of cancer and arthritis if these eggs are used to make drugs that can help. 2. Salmon. Aqua Bounty, a biotechnology company based in the United States, has been able to safely change the genetic material of salmon. Salmon that have been genetically modified to grow faster than normal salmon do. The fish is safe for humans to eat and is on the market now. 3. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are thought to be one of the most dangerous insects in the world. Malaria, dengue fever, and Zika virus are some of the things they spread. Scientists have changed the DNA of mosquitoes to stop the spread of these diseases. Oxidic, a British company, has made mosquitoes with genes that make them die off on their own. Before they are old enough to be adults, the offspring of modified mosquitoes die. 4. Mice and Rats. They are used in the study of neurological disorders. They can also be used to study changes in behavior that happen because of genetic changes. Genetically Engineered Livestock 1. Pigs Pit has been a long time since pigs have been used in the study of GMO technology. Scientists have been able to make GM pigs that are used in the drug industry. The organs of GM pigs can be used in medicine. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved the sale of GM pigs for people who eat. 2. Cows Genetic engineers from different parts of the world have been able to change the DNA of cows. Genetically modified cows are different from cows that are naturally bred. 
For example, Argentinian and Chinese scientists have been able to make cows that have milk with a different composition. The milk from these cows is the same as that made by people. Note, genetic engineers have changed and are still working on making more animals different. There are a lot of good things about genetically changing sheep, goats, horses, and goats, say scientists. Genetically modified cows pros and cons. It is safe to make changes to a cow's DNA with GMO technology. Genetic engineering of cows has both good and bad things. Advantages. Cows can be genetically modified to grow faster, which will cut down on the cost of production. Genetically modified cows can make more milk than cows that haven't been changed. Disadvantages. Changing a cow's genetic materials can cause genetic changes that aren't what you want. This means that genetically modified cows are not safe for humans to eat. There is still a lot of work to be done before people can eat products from GM cows. How do genetically modified animals affect the environment? Changes to an organism's genetic makeup can have unexpected effects on the natural world. GMO can impact biodiversity. One of the main problems with genetically modified animals is that they don't have as many different kinds of animals. Animals with genetic material that has been changed can overwhelm other animals in a habitat. It's possible for genetically modified animals to carry new diseases that could kill off other species of animals. Also, GM animals are likely to eat too much food in the environment. There are many ways that these effects can have a big impact on the population of both plant and animal groups in an ecosystem. Can genetically modified animals reproduce? Genetically modified animals may or may not reproduce. Depending on the type of modification that was made to their genetic materials, they may not be able to reproduce. If the DNA sequence that makes the GMO able to reproduce is intentionally or accidentally deleted, the GMO won't be able to reproduce. Genetic modification GM, technology has great potential. Scientists can use genetic engineering techniques to make animals that are better than animals that haven't been genetically modified. When GMO technology is used, it can change the field of medicine by making animals that are better at fighting off diseases. It can also boost the production of animals and crops which means that global food security will be better. However, most GMO are not safe for people to eat, so more research needs to be done to make them safe. Thanks for joining us. Consider following Dynamic Earth Learning and visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for other teacher resources, videos, and environmental e-learning courses.